guys, uh, Ethan here. We're gonna, this camera sucks, there we go. We're gonna make some snow today. We've basically gotten through a three week thaw and we're gonna try to recover at least somewhat, and have a little bit of fun with this. We're hooked up to the pond here. We've got this hose running into our pump house right here. Here we are, the pump is running. It's running pretty smooth. Um, we generally leave this building closed up. This is our uh, exhaust over here. And this is our drain valve. The lowest point on the hill lets the water out of the system when we're done. We just open that. But we're gonna send water up the hill today, so. It only takes a couple minutes to build pressure. And let's see what's going on up at the top of the hill. We are at the mid station. This is our little valve box. Uh, this isn't really a lot of water, but it's about 10 gallons a minute or so. And uh, this is most of it at this point. We're going to go ahead and send the water up the hill by opening this valve. Okay, and what we have to do is we have to make sure that this unloader valve is not frozen. We already heated it up a little bit, but we're gonna put some heat on it to make sure it doesn't have any ice in it. So it's really important to make sure that this thing is gonna work correctly. Um, if not, it's really easy to ruin the system, damage the pump, blow a pipe, mess up the hose. We've already messed up our pressure gauge. It's saying there's 600 PSI in there when there's really only like maybe 10 right now. The water is just kind of passively flowing through there. Hopefully that's good. It's preset to max out at about 575 PSI, just under 600, which is what all of our equipment is rated for here. And now that that's open, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to apply pressure by just closing this thing off. And it's gonna take a minute because now we're filling the rest of the line. Pressure's gonna to start to build a little bit. Now we're gonna close it off all the way. Now our unloader valve is going to basically do the rest of the work. But we're going to let that piss just a little bit. Okay. So yeah, right now it's saying that we're running like, oh, over a thousand PSI, but it's really not that much. It's really about 550 right now, I think. All right, let's go to the top and see what's going on up there. Here we are at the top. Um, this is a bleed hydrant up here, which means that it's just the dead end of a line. So we left this one open when we opened the valve down there. And uh, right now it's spraying water, so we're going to put some air to this gun. Doesn't seem to be doing much right now. I think the air nozzle's clogged, so we're going to go uh, dethaw. Yo guys, uh, we are at the top, sort of, and we got the air nozzle set. We're starting to make snow, not a lot. It's only been running here for a minute or so, but uh, so far so good. We're gone. We got it set up and we're ready to uh, open this thing up. Let's hope it's not frozen yet. There we go. Look at that. All right, let's put some air to that thing. And right over here. Air is flowing. Oh man, there we go. Set that air nozzle right about like that. And now we're making snow. Whoops, oh. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get these things really 
opened up. That's about right. <laughs>